In this video, we're going to look at how we can add, edit, and delete passwords manually on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Instead of using autofill, you can also type usernames and passwords in manually. Let's see how we do this. We're first going to look at this on my Mac. Now let's say you have a username and password and you want to save that. You know what it is, you need to save it manually. You just want to type in the username and password yourself instead of having autofill save it. Well, we can do that easily on the Mac. If you're using an older version of Mac OS, not using Mac OS Monterey, you do this through Safari. So I'm going to go to Safari here. And then what we do is we go over to our preferences for Safari. So I just click on Safari here. We go over to our preferences. We have a new window that opens up. And then we go over to passwords. Under passwords, I do have to put in my passcode here. Under passwords, I can see all of my different passwords. I want to add a new one, or maybe I want to edit one or delete one. Well, in order to add one, all I do is just go down to the plus here, and when I click on it, what I'm able to do is add the website, username, and password. That's all we have to do. Now, this does have to be a website. So let's say I wanted to type in demo here, and the username is username, and the password is password. You're going to see that I cannot save that password. That is because this is not a real website. So how do you fool it? Maybe you just want to have a dummy website in there. All you have to do is just put .com in there, and now you can see I can add that password. When I click on this, it adds that password. When I type in demo here, you're going to see I have my demo. And when I click on this, what I'm able to do is view that username and password. Just hover over these dots here and we can see that password. How does this work on the iPad and iPhone? Well, let's go over to my iPad and iPhone. We're first going to look at it on the iPad. In order to save a password manually, what you do is you click on settings and then we need to go to our passwords. And then what we do is we click on the plus in the upper right hand corner. When I click on the plus, I'm able to add my website username and password. We have to follow the same type of rules. This does have to be a website. On the iPhone, it works the same way. I go to my settings app, and then we swipe up until we find passwords. And then you're going to see a plus in the upper right hand corner. I click on it or tap on it. And then I can go and enter in a website username and password. And again, I have to follow the same rules. Once I add it in here, being that I'm using iCloud, it will be reflected across all of my different devices. Now, what about editing and deleting them? Well, since we're looking at our iPad and iPhone, let's first take a look at it on the iPhone. I want to edit a password. I'm going to edit demo. So I have a demo in here. So I'm just going to search for it. I typed this in earlier. And you're going to see demo site. I want to edit this. All I do is just select it. And then from here, I go up to edit. And now I can edit it. I can change a username and password. I can even set up a verification code. And then down at the bottom, you're going to see I have the website. If I want to open up the website, I click on the icon here. This is also where we can go and delete it. On the iPad, it works the same way. I'm going to cancel this. And now I'm going to search for demo here. You're going to see I have demo site. I go up to edit in the upper right hand corner. From here I can edit it. I can set up a verification code. I can change the password on the website, which means it's going to open it up in Safari. And then I can change the website. And if I want to open it up in Safari, I click on the icon here. And then if I want to delete it, I click on or tap on delete. What about the Mac? Well, on the Mac, what we do is we go to our passwords here again. So I have here demo site. I click on it. And then I go over to edit. And then from here, I'm able to edit it. And then if I want to delete it, I click on delete. Now, if you're using Mac OS Monterey, or actually Big Sur and Monterey, you can also access your usernames and passwords on the Mac from system preferences. So I'm going to close out of this. And then we go over to our system preferences here. And then we go over to passwords. 
Again, if you're using an older version of macOS, you will not see this. You have to go through Safari's preferences. But once I open this up, it's going to look very familiar. I go and enter in my passcode, and I type in demo. I look for my demo site, and from here I can view the password. I can click on it to copy it, and then I can also edit it and make any changes to it. So that's how we add, edit, and delete passwords on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. On the Mac, we do this through Safari's preferences, or you can do it through the system preferences if you're using Big Sur or later. On the iPad and iPhone, you do it through the settings app, and then you go to passwords. From there, you find your password that you want to edit or delete, or if you want to add a new one, you tap on the plus. So that's how we add, edit, and delete passwords on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.